Hey, what's going on, Bruce? This is Total Boss here, bringing you all kinds of Minecraft crap. And, uh, today we got a redstone security system. Oh, why do I have everything in my hand? That's pretty much everything you're gonna need for it. But, uh, basically, uh, right now, on the end of your security room, what you can make, basically, you got this torch off, and this button up here, and it's just trap XYZ. Now, if I, if someone goes on this, someone like some idiot, and even for a little split second, like, like that, they will, uh, like a trap, or like just a pressure plate, it'll turn on, and this button here is for the reset. So, uh, that, that works pretty good. And, uh, my only problem with this is... Once you step on it, you get off of it, and, uh, it'll continue to power the trap, which you sometimes do not want. And I will show you a way to fix that in the thing. In the, I mean, the tutorial for it. So, uh, I'll be showing you how to make this. Okay, so for this trap setup, you're just gonna need some source of trap power. Like, or whatever, a source of a trap, or something that someone would run into. Such as, uh a pressure plate or a trip wire. So that's what we're gonna use. So first you're gonna wanna do some redstone signal. I recommend eight to nine blocks out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight to ten blocks out, I meant. Uh so I I put it in the middle there. And right now we're gonna be building a, a simple XNOR gate. Now an XNOR gate is something that remembers your thing. It remembers what you did. So, so if you hit a button, it will remember that you hit that button. So, uh, on top of the redstone, you got the torch there, and the and the uh, repeater in there, and then you got the redstone dust on the outside. And on top here, we got a torch that will turn off. Now, as I said, the problem is when you step on this, you'll get power into the trap, and it'll stay there. The power will stay there. Which you do not want, okay? So, uh, I'm just gonna do a little crude reset there. And what you're wa gonna wanna do is take the block that is not on top of there, but before that one, and a repeater. So now, the trap will not be powered, but it'll still go in there. So, uh, back to the trap here. So, basically, this thing on the outside, this will go into your trap room. I'm going to make it pretty close here. And the one, two, three. Now, uh, you got your, re no, no, no. Rest and torch there. That will immediately turn off. If not, then there's definitely something wrong with your circuit. And the button up there, and I like this because you can put the sign for what trap it is in the middle. And actually between these, you only need like one space in between them. So that's nice. So, and you can also turn these and make them as long as you want. Uh, just, it's a really nice expandable design that I made up, as usual. So, basically, to reset this. Now, I'm going to turn it on just so I can get the challenge of resetting it. So, the trap has been set off. Oh, geez. How am I going to reset this thing? Actually, quite simple. You just, uh, you, you do this. You're going to want to take from the button power from the redstone circuit straight into that block. So, when I do, do that, it'll turn off pretty much immediately. And that's pretty much your design, except for, like, aesthetics, if you really need that. I mean, it's going to be hidden. I just added aesthetics. Just to show you that you could, if you like this design, subscribe, please. I have tons and tons of more designs just as good as this and just as compact as this. So, you know, I mean, I could I could come up with these designs all the time. Uh, subscribe to PyroVVV's channel. Put the link in the description for that, peoples. And just so you know, this is Total Boss here. 
saying to you, ciao.